So, a couple of days ago, everybody, I made a video talking about a possible giveaway. We're going to be giving away the Cyborg and the weaponized camos in Black Ops 3. And a lot of you guys seem to be interested in that. So, we're going to start the official giveaway today, guys. If one of you wants to go ahead and win the brand new weaponized, the all-secret weaponized in Cyborg camos in Black Ops 3, all you got to do is drop a like on this video, guys. Go ahead and smash that like button. Also, leave a comment in the comments down below. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. And once you do all of that, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a comment right now, everybody, saying notification gang. And then all you got to do is click the link in the description down below and go enter into the giveaway. Do all of those things to enter. And hopefully, one of you guys will be the lucky winners of the brand new, all secret, all exclusive cyborg and weaponized camos in Black Ops 3. Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Grulag, and welcome back to another video. Guys, hopefully, you all are having a fantastic day today i've got a pretty interesting video for you guys in the sense that we're going to be going over a lot of intel in black ops 3 so make sure you guys go ahead and uh strap in your seat belts because it's going to be kind of a wild ride today we have a lot of new stuff to go over a lot of stuff that you guys probably haven't heard about yet a lot of stuff that you guys have probably never seen before so let's go ahead and get into the video and trust me guys when i say that you guys haven't even seen this stuff before i'm going to be connecting some dots today that i think you guys are going to be really really interested about i've been doing some thinking recently and i just think there's a lot of uh really suspicious stuff in black ops 3 that i need to talk to you guys about so go ahead and get your comments ready for the comments down below and guys seriously let's go ahead and uh get into the video now obviously guys today is august the 1st 2017 signifying that today is the all-in day of the days of summer events in call of duty black ops 3 and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am actually really really upset as you guys can see on the screen right now here was the last week of call of duty black ops 3 days of summer and everybody was so excited man everybody was like yo Treyarch are definitely definitely gonna come through they are definitely gonna be hooking it up and surprising us with something left at the end of days of summer and lo and behold we ended up not getting anything none of the new camos not even a new featured game mode and not even any new contracts so what happened Treyarch? what's going on as you guys do know you should know it is actually august 1st today as well so we should be getting some new august dlc contraband very soon which is what i want to go ahead and start this video out today we're gonna be a little bit all over the place today guys but do not worry it's gonna be good now obviously the august dlc is going to be dropping in august this month the only thing that we do have to look out for are the modern warfare fairy mastered weapons now the reason I'm saying that is because we most likely will not be getting any August DLC until we see new DLC weapons in MWR. The way the cycle works is Black Ops 3 drops new DLC weapons and then we get new weapons for Infinite Warfare and MWR and then we get more for Black Ops 3 and obviously Black Ops 3 and IW have gotten new weapons but MWR has not just yet. So maybe a week or two before we see any more Black Ops 3 weapons, maybe even the third week of August, who knows? I would probably see say more so the second or third week of August but who knows man maybe we could get surprised with some this week now that leaves open a lot of discussion for the August DLC obviously we're gonna be getting the new gear sets obviously you know there's gonna be new gear sets hopefully we get some cool like summer themed fall themed gear sets I think that would be uh, really cool but that opens a lot of discussion and uh, a lot of just I guess stress over what weapons what freaking DLC weapons are we gonna be getting this time around in the August Contraband DLC. Now, there's been uh, one concern that myself, as well as a lot of other people have been having, that we're not actually going to be getting this new August Contraband DLC. We're not going to be seeing any more DLC in Black Ops 3. Treyarch are completely done, and they were telling us that by not adding anything really cool towards the end of the days of summer. And I don't really think that's the case. A lot of people are saying that they're too busy working on their next game uh, to provide Black Ops 3 with any content right now. But guys, you gotta remember, they're literally just weapons and if Treyarch stays on the path that they're on right now they're just gonna be reskinned Black Ops 2 weapons like literally nothing brand new so I don't think it should be that hard now the interesting thing about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is that there are actually Black Ops 2 weapons in the coding right now so it shouldn't be hard at all for Treyarch to release these guns if they are gonna stay on the path that they already set themselves up on with releasing the AN-94 and the China Lake 
Lake in that last July DLC contraband. We're gonna go ahead and start talking about some DLC weapons, but before we get into this, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and leave me a comment down below right now, everybody, and let me know which DLC weapon is your favorite in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I really do feel like with Treyarch releasing the Galil and the AK-74U and the M1911, all of these previous Black Ops 1-esque Call of Duty uh, weapons, I really do feel like we're gonna be seeing more Black Ops 2 guns as that's what they kind of started with the July uh, DLC. The AN-94, I think, was what they used to kind of kick it off, maybe give them some kind of excuse to add in more Black Ops 2 weapons into the game. Obviously, the MSMC, the PDW, the ME7, all of these crazy guns could be added, but which ones are we definitely uh, gonna see? Now, first off, the PDW would definitely be sick. I think the PDW would be a crazy good gun to add. Uh, not only would it be dope to have a multiplayer because it has so much ammo, but it would also be so cool to see like in the mystery box in zombies. I don't know. The more weapons, the merrier. The more Black Ops 2 weapons, the merrier that is. I mean, I don't know. I feel like PDW probably has a less chance of being added just because it is kind of like a reskin of the P90 and we already have a reskin of the P90. It's the Weevil. So who knows, man? Probably not going to see the PDW, but still that would be really cool. For those of you that don't know, the PDW is actually in the coding. This is just some mod tools gameplay, but the PDW is actually there. Uh, it's just in the coding as like a line of coding. Like it's really nothing too big. There's no models or anything like that. There are other weapons though that have models that probably have a better chance of getting put in the game. Now the first weapon that actually is in the game right now, models and everything, you guys already know. I've literally already told you guys about this gun, uh, but it is the MP7 submachine gun from Black Ops 3. Way back in the Black Ops 3 beta, this gun was actually leaked to be in the game. And yeah, it's really easy to play with. It's, it's playable. You can literally play with this gun in Black Ops 3. You can run around, shoot people, reload the gun. Like it's literally a finished gun. It's not a glitch or anything like that. Treyarch meant for this to be in the game for this full DLC weapon to be in the game. Uh, so what do you guys think? Do you think we're going to see the MP7? I don't know. One last gun that I want to show you guys that I've literally actually never talked about on this channel before, but I found some gameplay of it in Black Ops 3 is the Remington from Call of Duty Black Ops 2, guys. The freaking Remington shotgun. Now, this one's a little bit weird. As you guys can see the gameplay on the screen uh, right now, this one's a little bit weird. Obviously, it doesn't pump just like the regular shotgun from Black Ops 2. If you guys saw, the MP7 works exactly like the old MP7. It doesn't burst or anything like that. It doesn't work like a different gun. But in this gameplay, the Remington is shooting like the Brecky. And that's because back in the beta, the Brecky wasn't finished yet. So what they were doing was using the Remington MC870 or whatever the name of the Remington is in Black Ops 3. They were using the Remington uh, model to actually test out the Brecky because like I said, it was a classified gun. Nobody knew what the Brecky was way back in the Black Ops 3 beta. And they were just trying to finish up the gun for the final game and using the camera. I guess as a skin for it because it wasn't done. I don't really know But the reason I'm showing you guys this is because the Remington is actually in the game So uh, it's pretty cool now with all three of those guns being from black ops 2 The only gun we're missing is the MSMC, but obviously I'm not gonna lie to you guys The MSMC is not even in the coding right now So most likely probably not gonna be seeing that guy But I think it would be really cool now remember the AN 94 was not in the coding at all So we could literally get anything what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments down below which weapons would you guys like to see because like I said there's a lot of choices and I just want to know what you guys would like to see so let me know in the comments down below one last thing we need to go over in this video is these camos guys these secret camos in black ops 3 for those of you that missed it there was a brand new leak for the brand new origins pack-a-punch camo and the royalty VIP bubbles camo you guys can see some gameplay of both of those on the screen right now uh, there was some crazy leaks, some crazy intel, and I don't know why, but we never saw these during Call of Duty Days of the Summer. What was originally supposed to happen when these camos got leaked was that Treyarch were going to release them as supply drop camos or community contract camos for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Days of Summer, and for some reason, they just never ended up doing that. Like, they literally just simply never ended up releasing them. I'm obviously not really sure why they never did that, but they never ended up doing that so it was really weird like I said for some reason they never released them and I don't know man I, I literally I don't know what they were thinking these camos are so freaking dope and I just I don't know why they didn't release them during days of summer but don't worry guys 
don't worry, just because they didn't release them during days of a bummer, it's all good. We're gonna be getting them soon. I'm gonna go ahead and have to hit you guys with a little prediction next Tuesday. We're gonna get hit with some interesting stuff. Uh, wink, wink. I would just stay tuned, guys. I would just stay tuned. Next Tuesday is gonna be crazy. Nonetheless, guys, hopefully you all have enjoyed this crazy Intel video. If you guys did, go ahead and slap that like button. Drop a comment down below. All that great stuff. Enter in to today's giveaway. And I will see you guys in the next one again. Thank you guys so much for the support right now. I'm making this video. I am in LA. So I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys nonetheless did enjoy. I will see you guys in the next one though. My name is Kree Lag. And I'm out. Peace.